Hey YouTubers, this is the update uh, you've been all waiting for. And it's a long haul to get to this point. So I'm still not finished. I have to put the end caps on this thing. Uh, this is still spinning and I just gave it a little hand push. This is pretty damn good. These little blades actually are catching the ground wind. The, uh, as you can see from the flag, it's just a light breeze. But even down here, it's just kicking here. But uh, somehow I screwed up. I don't know. The magic of uh, Murphy jumped on my back here. I... Uh, I'll show it to you. Stop this thing. Those screws in there were set at a set point. So you think when you put it back in there, they would be back the same. I don't think I can scratch these. What I did was I put these in here, but I didn't push them down or anything. I just put them down to where they, some of these even have a gap. So they're not things. But for some reason, this section from between here and here shortened up from the top to the bottom i uh i'm gonna have to do something to pin this because the torque will actually make that spin uh we'll give it put it that way there's torque on both of them but it should drive it so anyway uh i did my best doing my tig weld taught myself to tig weld in two days and then i ran beads as you can see so these are not sweated on here they're actually aluminum welds uh did it on both sides did welding on this you guys saw that in earlier video so anyway i have two quarter 20 stainless steel holding this and then i have little i guess those are five sixteenths little little ones that are threaded through into the plate otherwise everything's the original and thanks to uh the man down there in north carolina we got these i have to put the end plate still on that's about it uh otherwise when this thing goes even though it's on a tilt i mean this, this is a lot of tension. everybody talking about the bearing failure but this thing is pretty good, especially with that steel shaft I put in the center. So, but uh, give that a little spin. And there it is. This thing will just keep, uh, even at the ground level here, just catching that little breeze for some reason. It was spinning by itself before. So, anyway, uh, that's a lot more than it would do with the thing, especially with the weight of the arms now. And the front arms or have the round tubes on them so they're aerodynamic so that helps in the performance so we have six end caps to put on and once i get those on i have to mount that anerometer sticking out from the tower i'm gonna have to take this and weld this off to the side i'm going to put it out to one side or the other probably on that side to the west side because that's majority like i said where my winds come from but uh this thing spins pretty smooth even though it's on a heavy tilt on the bearing right now so and uh just to give you guys an example <laughs> i know i'm gonna hear a lot of shit about this but here we go this is for all you guys in the aviation department that aren't in aviation okay you can see how slow this is moving right that's real slow Let's see how fast the outside blade's going. Oh, that's right. The blades on the outside go faster than the in, especially relative speed to things. That rotor tip right there has a greater distance to travel, as you can see, and that's winging around. In the meanwhile, this is going pretty damn slow. And if we get out in the center, it's going damn slow right here. Look, I can follow this with my finger. I couldn't move my finger that quick on the footage that that, that outer blade's covering. So. Just a shout out to all you guys who think the outer blade speed is slower. It is absolutely not. It's like a rotor blade on a helicopter, which I flew for a few years. They're doing like 500 miles an hour while the center hub is doing almost zero. Okay, so, and I don't think you'd want to stand something going that fast. So, and that center is going things. Mechanically, it's the same RPM. Speed-wise, it is not. Okay, so I'm going to hear all the crazy comments on that stuff doesn't really matter this is a uh, experimental vertical wind turbine that we're going to try to make some power from hopefully these arms are big enough and if not hey maybe get bigger airfoil blades i can go you know probably another before the cables come into effect probably come down another probably two feet maybe two or three feet and then another two three feet up put extensions on there if i have to i don't know if that's possible because they'd be I'd have to really do some modifications to it so but anyway i'm going to uh, stop here and go set up for a little bit of tig welding my initial thoughts and i'll post this first before i start doing it so you guys can give me some suggestions if you see it 
these right here have to go on the end caps. So right here is where that goes to pick up 4% efficiency on the airfoil on both ends. So my thoughts are, instead of welding that all the way around, I'm going to weld it right on that arm only and just have it laying against it like that. So I have to check with my uh, aerospace engineer brother-in-law to make sure. And then uh, that's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna TIG weld those right to there as a fixed plate. All right, in the meanwhile, this thing should do pretty good in the wind. It's spinning a lot better with the long arms. Peace out.